Oh, yes, it is, folks. It's that time. Mary Maxim Crochet Kit of the Month has arrived. Hey peeps, it's JJ with Baby Girl Crafting, and today we are going to be opening up the Mary Maxim kit, the crochet kit of the month. Because I'm exhausted, I'm going to have to tell you that all the information about this kit is down in the description box. I just don't want to get it wrong. I'm all excited to open this kit. I have finished quite a few little crochet projects, and I want to get started on this. So go check it out for me, okay? Give me a break. Thank you. But so you do know this is a kit that I subscribe to um, every month. It is my favorite yarn kit that I get so far. I mean, like, I love it. And they don't pay me to say it and give me no discounts at all. So Mary Maxim, if you check out my account and you really want to give me, you know, like a discount, I'm cool with that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. All right. So we got our packing slip. You guys don't need to see that. Oh, so pretty. I actually have extra of this yarn too because it came in my little um, mystery kits that I've got. Oh, but it's fine. It's going to be, oh, wow. Okay. But, okay, this is what it, we're making. I think it's a set. I think we get to make the hat, the scarf, and whatever the heck this is. But this is the yarn. Okay, let me open it up. So excited. Except for I really struggle with the thin yarns, which is why I still have this in stock because I struggle with the thin yarns. All right, let me pull out the pattern too while we're at it. Okay, now let me slow down, back up. When you get your kit, at least for me, every time I've got my kit, it comes in a great little project case, which is awesome to keep stored. I was using this to keep the projects that I was working on in. I now use this to keep the yarn projects that I'm going to do in the future. I have some 31 bags that I've started carrying with me that I use now to use for my um, current projects. But, so these are now for projects that are upcoming that I'm going to do. But I still use them. So I love that they come in those little cases. And I started showing you the yarn. I'm just gonna give you a better picture. And let's see what the pattern is for. We have A wrap. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, so that's a wrap. It's not a scarf. It's a wrap. It is. It's a wrap and a hat. Sounds like I should be singing. Okay, cool. And this gives you an idea of what the pattern is going to be. I think I can do that. I like those kinds of patterns. Yeah, the last... The last... Uh, shawl that we just did for last month which if you go and check out my finished projects list I will eventually be posting a picture or a, a video there I just finished it today and I haven't done a video on it yet but I turned out really cool I, was, I really liked it but we used kind of the same idea for one of the one of the stitches so yeah I like it okay so now let's check out the yarn so this is the Mary Maxim Milan yarn and its color is Tanda de Metis. Okay. Um, washing instructions, machine wash on delicate cycle. Spin dry. Tumble dry on low heat for five minutes, then lay flat. That's pretty detailed instructions. All right, so this is made in Turkey. It is approximately 219 yards, 200 meters. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. It has a nice feel to it. I like it. It's going to be good to work with. It is um, it's 100 grams. But it doesn't tell me... Oh, there we go. So it is a light. It's a 3. So it's not like fine. It's a lightweight. I'm, show, I'm playing with it and you guys aren't even getting to see it. So it's kind of a lightweight but it's not a fine weight, so it should be better. I don't know, but look at the colors. Is that not amazing? Like, ooh, it's, it's just gorgeous. It just gorgeous. Let me show you one where the yellow, because when the light hits the yellow, that one doesn't have yellow on the outside. 
This one kind of does. So look at, oh, I don't know if it's coming across in the camera as cool as it looks here, but it just is like almost stunning. Like it's just like, boom. So it, like a, I like it. It just kind of goes together and just blends and yeah. I liked it before, but I had no idea what to make. So I'm excited to make this. So now I have two crochet projects that I haven't done. I just got, oh, I actually have three. So I'll be working on my Mary Maxim project. I will be working on my Darn Good Yarn project and I will be working on my Knit Crate projects. And those are the projects I will be working on over the Christmas holiday. What are you gonna be doing over the Christmas holiday? Probably socializing with friends and family and opening presents. I'm opening my presents for you guys right now. <laughs> All right, happy holidays. And until next time, later peeps.